Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Airman's Prophecy. Last episode, we were getting pretty far in levels. We also got some equipment. And now we're going to be trying to get doublets before we think, even think about moving forward. I also suggest when you get mutton that you start saving it for your adventure, because you're going to really need a lot of mutton when we're going into the other places of this game, because there will be much stronger enemies, and as a result, you're going to need a lot of healing items, and mutton is the best healing item you can get right now. I did get two muttons on my way here. I also got another one just now. I'm gonna be eating that. Don't let yourself get below a certain amount of HP, which would be like 25 or 20 right now. Because you can get uh, attacked repeatedly, and as a result, you can lose tons and tons of HP. Tally class 8, and so is Devin. Or a chunk of meat. This is when uh, resting at the end can be valuable. But it's probably a better idea to just use your chunks of meat so that you can still stay in this area and save time. That being said, if you're in a pinch and you need doublets, you can sell the chunks of meat for a good price. From what I do remember. Gonna try to cheese the game a little bit and get as much mutton and XP as I can before I have to heal. Alright, mutton, mutton. It's a lot of mutton. Because the ones that give you the most upfront money is going to be the wolves. But the ones that give you a lot of money via the mutton, I believe, is the goats. So I do believe chunks of meat are very valuable. Could be wrong, though. We'll go for a bit and we'll see. We have 100 gold right now, so we need 147 each, I believe, for doublets. Also, crap, there's a goat closing in. Even if you're powerful, do remember when you're farming to save the game constantly, because anything can happen and you can lose a lot of progress that way. Alright, Devin, you could use a chunk of meat. Alrighty. I always like seeing getting chunks of meat ahead of time. Like, you use a chunk chunk of meat and then you immediately get it back. 
All right, we're at 134 right now. Hell yeah, and Devin, class nine. Tally almost didn't make it to class nine. All right. All right, we're going to go back and get a doublet. Reason being, of course, is so that when we actually get... Um... Like... Hit, we eat less mutton, which saves money, and it also saves... You know, time from having to go into inventory to heal every single time. <laughs> Chunk of meat. Three gold pennies. Saving. Also, you can pay for the wage to go to Thias, but you really shouldn't because there's a lot of stuff that you'll miss. And that's not good. Also, we're going to rest at the end because it's cheaper than using a mutton for healing us both. Too full, nonetheless. Alrighty. As you can see, the mutton is 17 each, so selling 8 of them gets us 108. There we go. Also combine Oak Shield for Devon. Or plus 3, and this should increase his by 10. So now he's got 60 defense. Significantly stronger than Talia. Which means he's going to be our meat sponge, basically. At this point, you don't have to worry too much. You can pretty much kill a few wolves and get the amount of money you need for a inn visit very quickly. And gold pennies. Tack, tack, tack. Got a chunk of meat. Which is the equivalent of 17 gold, as you've seen, so it is better than um, the wolves for making money. But again, I'm going to be trying to keep my um, mutton as I'm getting it now. Ah, but he can't wear a shield because, yeah... Takes off his sword. I figured there was something fishy going on about that, but... I'd rather have the damage than a few defense. Can always use mutton to make up the difference. So we are already back at 51 uh, gold pennies, so that's good. Alright, chunk of meat. Nothing. Ten gold pennies. The wolves probably more consistently drop the thing that gives them the most money. But yeah. Chunk of meat. And chunk of meat. I'd rather they drop the chunk of meat than the four gold pennies, because at least I can heal myself with it. Also, technically, yeah, the the chunk of meat, like I said, is... It's more worth it to... Pay for a in-trip that heals us both to max than to use a mutton. 
which is crazy. Because with each mutton that we get is worth 17 gold, where the end is 15. Also, how are we doing on money? We're at 91 right now. I think I can go another round of killing enemies and then come back and then sell the mutton and then we can get a dub another doublet. Devon class 10. I like a class 10. Ready? Now that they're class 10... Doing a lot more damage. As you can see. Alrighty. We're gonna sell another batch of chunked meat. And also rest at the end. Alrighty. Save that. And we're gonna sell all of our mutton, which is 119 gold. We're also gonna sell this. And the oak shield, because it was a waste of money. We don't need it. And the hat. And the shirt. I'm gonna buy the doublet. And we're gonna equip that. Because the shirt only defends plus three, so... Yep. Same thing, Matt. We're gonna go in here. We're gonna buy cassia leaves. Or the two of them. Um... That, fine. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Never going to grow up. About that. Kind of mandatory, though. And with this, if we get enough mutton, we really don't have to come back here. So I'm going to be saving it on the first save slot. And then we're going to be going back down again from there. What do we need to do? There's a time where I could tell you you could probably take the train to Thias and, or, and then you can just not worry too much. But I think it's still a good idea to prepare by exploring the area. Alrighty. I would suggest having nearly close to 10 chunks of meat before you get within a reasonable distance of the town. So that you can just go back to the town and heal if you need to, or buy cassia leaves if you need to. Basically, any last minute preparations before setting out. If 
Talk to me. And get old pennies. More gold pennies. Any chunks of meat we got? Only three. Hmm. Again, once you've gotten enough meat that you feel like you can go adventuring safely, you can just return to town buy some cassie leaves maybe with the money that you have keep the thing rest in the end so you don't use up any of your meat and then you'll be good because cassie leaves are your friend if a character dies they will no longer get xp and it's very dangerous when you go around an area because you'll be automatically attacked the damage won't cycle so you can game over very fast. It's a very easy way to game over is by means of having somebody dead in your party. Obviously, but still. More so than other games, but the way the system is with the battle system, you can get hit so fast and so easily that it's it's nuts. Also, sometimes enemies won't even play sound effects or hit uh, animations, so you have to watch your HP bar. That's 11. Price of two Cassia leaves there. Three hits. Fourteen. Now you do need 200 coins for something in this game, but you should be able to get that before you get to Thias. Alrighty. How many chunks of meat do we got? Eight. That would be ten. Gold bunnies. Alright, now we're gonna go back to town so we can heal up. I don't think we actually need to buy any more Cassia leaves, to be honest, because there is a... Oops. There is a, um... A lot of, uh, chunks of meat in our inventory right now, plus...
And I just did bad. There's a lot of chunks of meat in our inventory right now. And plus our HP is very high. So... I don't really see us, uh... Alright, using Talia there as a meat shield. Seems to have worked. Alrighty. I think I'm gonna save our money though for later. I don't really see a need to buy any items right now. We have a couple Cassia leaves, and we're going to be getting more, so... That are also free. Also, there's things I want to save up my money for later. So we're just going to save it like that. And we're just going to head out. We're finally adventuring to Thias in the next episode. See you guys then.